Algebra 2, 7.4c, Conjugates and Differences of Two Squares. Now we've got 11 previous videos for Chapter 7. If you haven't seen them and you become lost or confused, you can click on this video's description to watch them. In video 7.4b, the one right before this one, we learned to rationalize a denominator. We remove the radical sign from a denominator by multiplying by a 1. When the denominator to be rationalized has two terms, we choose a value for one, such as these. So here we've got this expression. We've got the quotient of 3 and 2 plus the square root of 7. What we can do is take this 2 plus square root of 7, put a subtraction sign here, and multiply the numerator and denominator by this as our value for 1. It's got the same numerator and denominator, so it's a 1, isn't it? In this one, we took the square root of 3 minus the square root of 11. We put a plus sign in the middle, and we multiply the numerator and denominator by this as a 1. Now, by changing this operation sign and making it go from a plus to a minus or a minus to a plus, we make a difference of two squares in the denominator. The 2 plus square root of 7 and the 2 minus square root of 7 are conjugates of each other. The square root of 3 minus the square root of 11 and the square root of 3 plus the square root of 11 are conjugates of each other. Okay, so that's a conjugate. We can rationalize a denominator with conjugates. So for this quotient of 3 and 2 plus the square root of 7 that we had down over here, we can do this one. We'll use the conjugate of the denominator to multiply by a 1. So here's our big 1 here. And we can multiply straight across, and we get 3 times 2 minus the square root of 7. And down here, we can put these in parentheses, and we can FOIL them. It's going to give us a 2 squared minus the square root of 7 squared plus the square root of 7 squared minus the square root of 7 squared. And this is going to create a zero pair. It's additive inverse, isn't it? We're taking away one and adding one, so it makes a zero. So all we're left with is this 2 squared minus the square root of 7 squared. We multiply as the sum and differences of two expressions. Now, 3 times 2 is a 6 minus the square root of 7. Oops, let's take this off. And... This is a 4 minus a 7, because the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is the square root of 49, and the square root of 49 is just a 7. So we were able to remove that radical sign. See? 4 minus 7 is a negative 3. We've got a positive 6 over a negative 3. That's going to give us a negative 2, isn't it? And this is going to become a plus sign, because remember the negative to positive rule. We've got the same signs. It's going to become a positive. When we have different signs, it becomes a negative, okay? Let's try this one. This one's a little bit longer. So here we've got the quotient of 4 plus the square root of 2 and the square root of 5 minus the square root of 2. We can multiply it as a 1 by using this big guy here. We just change the minus sign to a plus sign. And now we can just go straight across, see? We can use parentheses, and we can FOIL. We FOIL the top one, then we FOIL the bottom one, and we do our first, outer, inner, last. This is going to give us 4 times the square root of 5, 4 times the square root of 2, the square root of, t square root of 2 times the square root of 5, and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. We do the same thing for the denominator. And we get this nice, big, long thing that needs to be simplified. And this is just 4 times the square root of 5. This is 4 times the square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 5 is the square root of 10. And square root of 2 times square root of 2 is the square root of 4. Now, we can't add unlike radicals. We can multiply them, but we can't add them. So we can't say this is 8 and the square root of 10 because... This is addition here. We can't add these unlike radicals. So the only simplifying the numerator can get is that that square root of 4 can become a 2. 
Now on the other hand, we've got the square root of 25, which is a 5, and this plus square root of 10 minus square root of 10 is going to create a zero pair. They're additive inverses, aren't they? So we can get rid of that. And then we have minus the square root of 4, which we know is a 2. So we have 5 minus 2. So our simplified answer is with a denominator of 3, and we got rid of that radical sign down there. Okay? Now here's what's cool. We can also rationalize the numerator. It's not just the denominator. We can rationalize a numerator. So we've, we've got the square root of the quotient of 7x and 3y. We can take this 7x and make it our 1 and multiply the numerator and denominator by the 7x. That's going to give us 7x times 7x, which is 7x squared, isn't it? And when we remove this radical sign, because it's a perfect square, we remove our perfect squares, we just get a 7x. And there's a little invisible 2 here for this square root, isn't there? So it's an even root, and we're simplifying it to an odd power, because that x is to the first power. And when simplifying an even root to an odd exponent, we use absolute value bars on the variables, okay? So I've said that a lot in the last few videos. For our denominator, we have 21xy under a square root symbol, see? And it can't be simplified. That's as far as it goes. So yeah, we can also rationalize a numerator, all right? Now our next video is going to be 7.5a. We're going to calculate powers and roots. And I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist. I'm going to have the links to Algebra 1 from last year that we touched on some of this stuff, but I explained it maybe a little easier. And all the links for the current Algebra 2 videos from Chapter 7, these 11 videos that we just did, are all going to be at your fingertips. And you can just click on this description and watch the ones you're missing. Because you can't climb a ladder if steps are missing. Okay, or maybe you can, but it's going to be a lot harder than if they were all there. All right, so you want to watch as many of my videos as you can, if not all of them. All right, keep trying. You can do this. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you next video. Bye.